YouTube, Brian Phillips. We have a box, we're gonna open it right now. Here it goes. Super exciting, unprecedented item today. Unprecedented. <laughs> We've never done it before. At least this one. That's probably true. All right, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, it's that thing. Oh. What the heck is going on in that? Mm. Looks like we have, they have like, they have like an opening here. What the heck is going on with this? So okay, so this is, this is a camera drone sort of um, coaxial helicopter. It's got Wi-Fi, app control. It's got a G sensor oh. cam crew. Wow, Woo. wow. Oh, I mean, they're hard Amazing. to find sometimes. That's true. All right, so we're gonna pop this open right now and just see what it's got to give, okay? Okay. Just gonna dig right in and pull it out. Oh, sweet, I'm glad we got the gray one. Was there I a thought, choice? Yeah, there's like all a gray this, one and, then like and there's a, a camo one. one. Or all of, it's not an olive drab, it's actually like a desert like a camo. Desert, yeah. All right, so let's look at this real close. Wow. So it's pretty basic. It's got some LEDs back here. Of course, you want to make sure that it's easy to see so the enemy knows where you're coming from. And then it looks like, what does it say, Expedition on there? Mm -hmm. This thing is like nothing. Feel how heavy it is. It's like oh, wow. so light. It's really light. So really cool. It's got a, a downward facing sort of uh, sensor. There's, is that a camera? That's another camera. There's an on off switch here. Forward facing camera and another LED probably. All right, so what else do we have here? It's kind of hard to see what we have here. Oh, it does come with landing gear too, if you want them. How does that work? Do you want the landing gear? I don't know, Could I think like we do. Screw them on? I'm not sure how that works. We're gonna okay. have to keep digging in. All right, so this has a battery that's one of those integral batteries. It's got the weird plug. Okay. And of course we have the transmitter. Oh, there we go. Ooh, wonderful, and app operating instructions. We've oh, never had problems with never, apps on these things. Never, ever. Never, ever, except not, for every not, single time we use them. Not today, at least. Oh, this guy says happy and not happy. Happy and not happy. Okay, so music recording, click the, what? what is that icon? Music it's icon? It's a music note, sort of. Yeah, it looks like a branded icon to me. Um, manual focusing, press and hold the, oh, goodness gracious. I've seen this app before, makes me nervous. So anyway guys, part of the reason we do these video reviews on these helicopters that have cameras and stuff is because you're gonna think, oh, it's a DJI Phantom. No, no, it's not. Just believe me, there's gonna be some serious limitations and we're gonna point them right out to you. Here's three double A's going there. This thing's gonna hold your phone, maybe. It's got a little bit of play to it. Um, so again, I don't mean to poo poo this or any other product that we review that sort of goes against what we're trying to do, which is to help sell these products for the companies we work with. But at the end of the day, really we serve you guys, the audience, because you're the ones that like and watch the videos and enjoy the videos and then buy stuff. And ultimately we want to protect you from getting the wrong thing. And sometimes we review the wrong things, <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. So USB A to USB micro and the world's longest cable, okay? So that'll be for charging the battery. Why don't we go ahead and get that going right now? The charger is sort of integral in this thing. So we're already charging another battery. It looks like that one's done, so we'll unplug that. Boy, that thing was toasty. That was a 2S, okay, just a run of the mill charger, nothing special. USB micro, okay, goes on the side it looks like. Okay, and so once you're plugged in, Oh, good, there's an LED that lights, it's red. So we're just gonna let that cook. Okay. Hopefully not actually cook, cause that would be unfortunate yeah. if that was the case. And then our next move is gonna basically be, what kind of a, what kind of a phone are we gonna hook on this? Um, well, I'm currently using mine, so. Only on Brian Phillips RC do I walk out of the room while filming. Just walk away. You get, you okay. get the best. It's okay. I'm done with it. Um, okay, so. Yeah, this yeah has gesture recognition. My, I can give you one gesture. <laughs> it's gonna tell you what I believe about that. Uh, it does come with a screwdriver, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and put the landing gear on. We might as well get this thing assembled while we got the batteries charging. We're gonna have to get three double A's here in a second. So it looks like this thing kind of has like a clip doohickey here, and I'm not sure why that's there. Um, but it basically just has four 
screw points, but it almost looks like it's got like some sort of a drop mechanism that must be an option. So we're definitely gonna put the skids on there. Um, coaxial helicopter has A and B blades, so if you end up having to replace these, they only provide you with one A and one B. Oh, so That's, don't crash too bad then. Yeah, exactly. And they are toolless. They literally hook on there. That's crazy. I've never seen that before on a helicopter. Okay. And there's a total of four screws here. There should technically be another screw on the transmitter, but they must have marked their product with a high enough age limit that they can assume that 14 year olds aren't going to eat batteries. And all joking aside, that's the reason that you have age limits on a lot of these small Chinese products is because kids will occasionally eat batteries. And so you have to do a screw to protect uh, little kids from getting into the battery bays and consuming the batteries, which is a scary thing to think about. If you have little kids, you don't want them to be eating batteries. First of all, they're not delicious. And second of all, they tend to kill people. So don't do that. This is a good screwdriver, really small. And I do like that they provide the screwdriver with this item. That's definitely a positive. And we've had a lot of helicopters. They usually almost always come with everything you need, but for whatever reason, the airplanes have kind of stopped coming with everything you need, um, particularly little tubes of China glue. Yeah. They must have problems with getting them through customs or something. But we've noticed that that's largely fallen off the map. I mean, granted, some of the most popular brands that we worked with that included glue required a lot of glue, even after you were done building them. <laughs> uh, but I won't mention their name. <clears throat> well, Excuse me. And a lot of the other Sneezed. brands don't require glue anymore. Yeah, because they're pretty much nice. phasing out the use of glue. Yeah. Everything is bolted together, screwed together, and they're using high quality hardware in that, in that spot. So, okay. All right, good. So we got that. A little extra. Yeah. Um, looks like our cat is, say, playing, is cat playing with a twisty with... tie oh, that I dropped. She She's like, well, I'm just going to put you in my food. Yes. <laughs> She's such a spaz. She is. Um, okay, good. So our next move, of course, is to read the instructions thoroughly. Oh, man. We're not going to do that. But we are going to get some batteries and come right back. Okay, so we're going to put batteries in this thing. Did you get the good ones this time? Yep. One cent, one cent per battery? No. Okay. That's way out of my league. Whoa. Careful. These are Thunderbolt Magnum batteries. <laughs> They're the best batteries you can buy for one dollar per thousand. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to turn this on. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So there's, there's like a light. It's ambiguous back there. I don't know what that means. Okay. So this is not a push button. This is not a push button. There's up, there's down, there's not left, there's not right. There's left, there's right, there's up, there's down. There's a light button, there's a land, there's a return to home. There's something, there's something, there's something else. There's start, stop video, nothing on the back. It's very light, very, very weak. Oh, that Oops. knocks the back off and de-energize it. So don't do that guys. Um, just showing you guys the quality here. Okay. I have to turn it back on. Then there's this, this must be like um, microwave weapon. I don't know. The, the dolphin call, yes, echo the, location. <laughs> that's, that's it's not a dolphin. dolphin. <laughs> okay, all right, great. So we're just gonna come back to the dolphin call later. Uh, so in reading through the instructions, we started with the Chinese side, read it, memorized it, and then we went over to the English side and we said, ah, here it is. Uh, so we're reading this, and if you happen to see it in Chinese and you're trying to read English, just flip it over because both are completely in English. And uh, it's in proper English. It's not confusing at all. Did you install the foot stand? Yeah, the foot stand. Yeah, this is where you put your feet. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the battery, and it's not fully charged, but, you know, that's never stopped us before. No. So we're going to go ahead and now. fly it with low charge. But see, sometimes on some of these models, if you have less than a full charge, they won't actually work. Oh, that's true. And so we you just need to be aware if you start them up and they won't connect to the app or whatever happens to be the issue, it could be because the battery's not fully charged. Then also, if you hear our cat having a hernia over here, that's because she probably is chasing that twisty tie that we dropped for her to play with. She's found two things now that she's playing with. <sighs> Well, she found the twisty tie again. 
Yeah, she's trying to put it under the sliding door. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to slide this in here. Now there's a little release tab here. Okay. Oh, it goes in the back. Yeah, you stick it in the back door oh. by design. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to turn that to the on oh, condition. Boy, there's definitely, was... wow, that is intense. No one will ever see you coming. Um, okay, so I accidentally hit that button. Don't know what that does, but oh yeah. Watch yourself just in case. Oh yeah. Okay, well, that that's easy to fly. Okay. Um, it does knock your instructions off, but I just wanted to show you. That's It's like disco textile right here. That's pretty good stuff. And uh, yep, so you basically have forward from this thing running, which pisses it forward. And then you have backward. Of course, you knock all the crap off the counter, which is super convenient. And of course, you can flip it over. And I don't know if I can take off from my hand. We'll just try this from the table again. There is a one touch takeoff. Okay. So it goes up about two meters, about hits your lights. <laughs> and then here you go, guys. So very simple operation, very easy to fly. Even the camera crew could do this. It's quite easy stuff. There's buttons you can press. I don't know what that did, but it, it gives audible, audible and visual feedback. So that's like taking a still. Very cool. Pressing and holding now, it's gonna start the video record. So that's pretty sweet. So you can definitely tell what's going on, which is nice. Surprisingly helpful having that little bit of visual feedback. Very good controllability. It's not hard to fly, but I think it could be harder than you think to probably track something with the cameras that are on board. But as you can see, it's not scaring me. I'm not really worried about hitting the walls or anything because this type of prop is weak and it's just gonna spin out of the way. So let's crash it for you here. I'm gonna go ahead and run into the countertop just so you can see. Hopefully it doesn't break anything, but we'll do it on purpose because we're here on Brentfold's RC. We care about you. Okay, so as you can see, we hit the counter, no damage. We hit the leather couch, no damage. We hit the table, no damage. We didn't hit the camera crew. Nope, or the cat. Or the cat. So we're gonna take off again, just to show you. Oh yeah, very good. Very cool, and boy, it likes Ooh. that lamp a lot. It's yeah, just it like right up in that lamp's business. So very fun, it's, it's easy to fly. It's definitely these coaxial helicopters have been easy to fly for some time. And then mine does this special feature. You see the green light? Yeah, what is, what's on the green light? I think it's just, just like a Chinese hair or oh, something. Oh, great. That's it's always my favorite. So I held it long enough that it was like, no soup for you. It doesn't know what to do. So flip it upside down. Carefully, don't hit your wrist with it. So now that we know that that actually technically works and we've blown everything all across the room, we're gonna pause, get the app installed and come right back. Okay, so I got my camera on my phone pulled up. And I'm gonna go and look at the Android. So, because I have an Android, I'm just gonna float over that and then find it. Yep, go ahead. So, it's gonna bring up the, the KY FPV. Oh, well, they just have a G sensor. The G sensor with the KY. Okay, all right, so we're gonna install this. So, I'm just gonna turn away from you while it's installing in case it says com complete account setup. Okay, skip. Okay, good. So, once you skip, it's gonna download, it's gonna verify by Play Protect just like normal on Play Store. Then once it's downloaded, it's a 71.55 megabytes. Oh my goodness. What could you possibly be doing with this thing? I suppose it is doing, you know, all sorts of cool things. From China. From China, that's right. Is there a memory card installation point on this device? Let's look. Oh. I don't see anywhere where you would slot in a micro SD card, which is usually the mark of the higher quality stuff. Mm, okay, so it's installing currently, and now I can hit open. So I'm gonna hit open. We'll just guys show you the, the Virgin run. That's my obnoxious. Okay, it's giving me terms of service. I'm just gonna agree to those. I obviously read them and understood them totally. Version 1.66. I'm gonna go ahead and pull away from you and press play. Okay, so this is a safe screen. We could show that. Now I need to find this on Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna pull away and just pull down my swipe down thing. I'm gonna hit Wi-Fi. Wake it up and it's gonna look for the device and I'll show you if I can the devices. Now, of course, it's on right now. Is it the Do Wi-Fi? Is it that? DU? I think it's this thing, so I'm just gonna cover my finger. I'm just gonna click on that. <clears throat> okay, so 
Hopefully this worked. I'm gonna allow it. Okay, please connect to the device. Internet may not be available. Stay connected. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the connected device. I'm gonna to go to record. I'm just gonna keep this on the helicopter for now. Okay, so I am going to hit start. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, the Chinese are watching you with their J11. Or Brian Phillips RC and the camera crew. It's amazing. Pretty cool. Good live feed. Not yeah, bad not at bad. all, actually, on <laughs> Wi-Fi. Okay, so we'll just turn this around. And what I want to do is I want to see how hard it is to fly. Generally, oh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, or 60%, 100%. Very good. Gyroscope on or off. I don't know what the heck that does. And then this would start the recording process, I think. Yep. Yeah, so it starts the recording process. And then I want to go back to this screen, start. Do I need controls? I think I need to go to controls, reverse, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you can do on-screen controls. Let's see if I have on-screen controls. Ah, oh, I see something here. Look at the zoom. Let's see how the zoom does. Let's see how it does. Let's go over here and let's look at the enemy aircraft in question. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, that's gotta be 50 times zoom. That's, that's definitely totally. 50 times as much visibility <laughs> because that's one time it fills up half the screen and 50 times fills up the screen. Okie dokie. And let's do this. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Oh, it looks like oh, you can- That was your music note. What the heck are these things? Oh, you can play the song. Okay, hold on, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Yes, that's the one, okay. And then you can also rotate, whoa, buddy. That's incredible. That'd be helpful when you're and flying. Then, and then this, I don't know what the heck that does, but it does something. So we just did that, whatever that button is. And then I'm gonna just take a still. Oh yeah, we got the 007. Hold on, we gotta do Brian Phillips 007. 007 move, 007. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Whoa, 007! <laughs> Great. It's gonna be our that'll be, that'll be our Christmas, card Christmas next cards year. for next year, yep. All right, so we'll just keep pointing that direction and we'll see if we can take off. Now obviously on these things you can you can put this into your mount, but you have to be careful about your volume keys and your power keys, depending on what you're doing with it. This would be kind of like an FPV configuration. So I'm gonna go ahead and one touch takeoff. Whoa, buddy, that was exciting. Yep, just don't mind about blowing all that stuff off. That's all what I meant to do, guys. Okay, so I have it in the holder, but it's just barely there. Now I wanna see if I can navigate. Camera crew, why don't you come over here? We'll see if we can navigate. Okay. Okay, so super easy to drive. As in, I'm going to try to move things slowly. And then let's come right down here. And camera crew, are you watching the screen? Or are you watching? I'm watching the screen. The and screen that's watching me? Ah, get away from me! Oh, by the way, just wanted to point out, I don't like you. So stop, see this? Very easy to do that, which is good. It's good to know that stuff. And then I think this thing can be pitched down, oh. okay? So that'll be much more useful for in-flight. I also wanted to point out, with my current commuter case on here, it kind of, whoa, that's kind of scary. Don't want to hit buttons when you do that. What I was going to suggest is if you have a case, you may have to pull the case off of your phone, depending on what type of phone. This is a Galaxy S9, Samsung Galaxy S9. I'm not sure my phone would even fit in there. I don't think it would. So let's go ahead and press the one touch takeoff. Yay, yay, don't run into the lamp. Well, you turned the lights off. Oh, I did? Yeah. How did I do that? Must have. How about now? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, that's so cool, guys. Show them the button, the button. Oh, that is really nice, actually. So if you're in covert, go into covert mode. Oh, yeah. Because that could actually interfere with your image. So oh. I'm going to go back just a little bit. I'm going to go back just a little bit here. Now, don't forget there's an oscillation that you get on these coax helicopters. And so camera crew, if you could just Come on over and we'll see if we can show the people at home what we look like on camera because they've never seen us. Never, oh, ever. hi. Oh, hi. Are you filming us filming us? I'm filming you flying. It's like a paradox. We're oh. filming me filming you while you film us. 
And by the way, that thing, oh, obstacle avoidance. I'm just, an, I'm just an obstacle. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch this. What? So it's got obstacle avoidance. And there's also, you can shut that off. I believe I shut it off now. See, it doesn't avoid me anymore. And then what you could do is, I'm gonna do it again, you ready? It's just the wind blowing. Now I'm gonna turn it back on with this button. Super convenient. Woo! See, obstacle yeah. avoidance. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to stand right with the camera crew. And I'm just gonna, oh my goodness, that's obnoxious. This thing really needs no camera phone case on it. Ooh, what do we have there? What do we have there? We have the camera crew. No, nope, that's just you. We have the camera crew and your host. There we are together. Amazing. That's pretty decent, pretty decent footage. It is for being a uh, little thing. Yeah, perhaps. but but I must say, the zoom, the zoom is definitely not 50, <laughs> 50 times. No, it's not. So guys, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna lay this camera down because it keeps falling, or excuse me, my camera phone, I should say. Very cool, very fun to fly. I love that you can turn the lights on and off, but make no mistake, folks, even though this is super cool and it's very inexpensive, this is not gonna be out checking your gutters, okay? I know you think you're gonna do that. You're probably not gonna do that. Also, I wanna talk about there should be a downward facing. Ear flashing whoa. also. Whoa, 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 I don't know what that was but I had a button that I pressed and that button caused it to go that direction. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what the heck that button was, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna grab this. Did the light color change? It's flashing and now it's flashing fast. Okay, so I shut it off because it's getting low. Keep in mind, we didn't charge it that all That is true, we did not. So guys, I just wanted to talk about this for another second longer. There's a lot of features. This thing is feature packed and our experience with these kind of like cheap systems like this, they don't generally ever really do all the features that they say they're gonna do. That's been our experience. Now that doesn't mean that we couldn't get lucky and maybe this will be the exception to the rule, but I'm not planning on it. I come around, let's look at one more feature. I just wanna see if I can get one thing to go. I'm gonna go back from here. I wanna go to camera. There's one other thing. I don't know what that is, split screen. So you can do like Oculus or whatever. Which is, which is kind of cool. If you were doing visual, you know, virtual reality, that would be pretty helpful. And then also, of course, you can tip that, but just make no mistake, this is not a downward facing camera right here. What that is, is an optical sensor, but I think there is a downward facing camera as well. I'm just not sure that we have access to it on this particular setting. So what I wanna do is I wanna double check and make sure there isn't a way to switch the camera. Nope, that's just taking a picture. Then you have a file with all of your pictures in it. I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna hit uh, back and I'm gonna hit start again. I'm gonna hit this. Uh, that's definitely your music. This is your different modes. And I don't see it. Cam crew, do you see it? Are you looking for on screen? Gyro on or off? Yeah, oh yeah, there. There's your bottom facing. Bottom oh. facing camera. So as you can see, it's kind of, um, Kind of a unique looking image. It's definitely not the perfect aspect ratio, mm -hmm. but it's kind of cool. If you were doing like a landing and you wanted to show, wow, that's so cool, amazing. Of course, it never really works that good on the downward facing camera because it's such a low quality camera, but you can go ahead and take pictures still and you can switch and do a recording, which is kind of cool. Now also keep in mind that this is not going to it is not going to do any audio, okay? So now let's go back and go ahead and hit start. We'll go to the file and I just gotta be careful. We'll go to my media library. Oh yeah, that's an amazing picture. Oh, good. Look at this. This might as well be the thumbnail so as you can see. That. Yeah, I don't know what we, oh wow. Look at this, they're watching us. That looks like a J11, makes perfect sense. Look at this, this light switch picture. It's actually not that bad of quality. It actually is not terrible. It's surprisingly good. Uh, now I want to go to this video and just make sure. Did you take a video? Yeah, I did. You did. A couple. Look at this amazing video right here. The paper this. towel holder is pretty smooth. It is. I think it's good. I think it's really good. It's a one second long video. This is a three second long video. I don't think we did much with this one. But you can see that it's actually a video on this one because this is our lower video where we filmed from the camera on the bottom. 
I'm gonna actually shut those lights off because they're annoying. Oh wow, what an amazing video. Oh yeah, look at that. Oop, the camera crew. So just to show you, everything is hosted on the app on the other end of the Wi-Fi connection. So if you were to lose connection, you would not only lose your visibility if you're doing FPV, first person viewpoint, but you would also lose your video because there isn't anything on board that's gonna record that video for you. It's actually gonna be recording only here at the host device. So pretty cool. I mean, kind of amazing for the price, but at the same time, it's not hard to, it's not hard to fly. And I don't even know if I would want to even try the hand gestures, but there are hand gestures that can start. And what you do is you make sure you do like this to take a picture for three seconds and then you wait and then takes your picture. And then you have a closed fist after three seconds and then you can do start video and then you can, it starts the video after three seconds. So anyway, I don't even know if I trust it. I wonder if the gestures are work. Let's try the gestures one time. They have never worked for us. Okay, look, ready? Gesture, okay? So I hit the gesture. I'm just gonna point the camera and I'm just gonna go like, hi. I don't even know if that's, that's probably not right. So it's probably not gonna work but I'm gonna go back a little bit further. You're supposed to be two meters from it. Oh. And so I'm gonna be here just holding it so you guys can see. So it'll be like, where are we gonna do this? Right there. Hand, two, three. Yeah, I don't see anything. So I'm gonna put my hand out there again. I'm gonna see, and then I'm gonna go to the other side. Okay, nothing. So as you can see, the hand gesture thing. Oh, look at that, it found my hand. Woohoo! So the hand gestures actually did work on this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try the hand gesture for video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put it on top of this box so we can show you the hand gesture for that. So we just set it up here so it's a little easier to get it to go. I'm gonna let you watch over my shoulder. So they say to make a fist like this or like this. There it goes, oh. see? Yay, very good video. Okay, so I don't know how you stop it then. <laughs> so as you can see, we now have that amazing video in our media library. So here it is. Amazing, but no audio. Right. So just keep in mind, if you get one of these things and you're thinking you're gonna go like film some cinematic experience, <laughs> you know, you're probably not, but it is a fun toy and it's definitely gonna be more fun, especially for kids and stuff, because you don't have to set them up with a $2,000 drone that's gonna do it and do it well. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is a pretty cool, it's a good flying heli and it's fun. It's very easy to fly. It's very fun to play with stuff like this. But at the same time, when you get into the real world applications that you think you're gonna do with this type of aircraft, you have to really check your expectations. Because even though every function works so far, there's still probably more functions that aren't gonna work later. And in our experience with these type of things, the coaxial helicopters are super rock solid platform. But just remember when you're flying, it's always going to oscillate, okay? When you go to move forward and backward because of the nature of the correction. And so what happens is as you're moving around, you're gonna have an oscillation, which doesn't seem like a big deal when you're watching this, but when it's watching you, your whole screen is going to tend to do this or this. It's gonna, it's gonna maybe not look so great, but it might be good enough for what you're trying to do. And it's still a fun, fun toy. And especially at this price point, I think it's definitely worth checking out. So that being said, it's taking some pictures, it sounds like. Oh, good. But that's okay. I'm gonna actually shut off the hand gestures because evidently the hand gestures I'm giving it are like really good. <laughs> um, so the other thing too is this thing keeps running in the background even if you minimize the app. So just be aware of that. So, wow, yeah, that's a pretty good one right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. It might've been playing the video and it played the audio clip. I'm gonna shut off hand gestures just by pressing that button. Now you may also be able to shut off hand gestures on this side. It doesn't look like there is a hand gesture key over here. Looks like there's just a timer and some different things. So guys, really cool toy. I mean, I'm excited by this. I think it's really neat. I love being able to get a camera crew 
on camera. It's amazing. And so you wanna check this out, guys. This is super fun. You can buy it from the links in the video description below, and it's gonna get you all the fun you might want from a little coaxial helicopter. Oh, and you know what else I need to do? I wanna see if I can turn those lights back on. Are they on? They're they on. Are. Very cool. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this answered all your questions about this product and you'll be able to get one for your very own. Very cool, very fun. Thanks a lot for watching.